Hello guys, it's me your mom Jo. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you like and subscribe. For today's video, I am going to teach you how to solve molality. When we say molality, it is another unit of solution concentration. Molality is equals to moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So you probably are familiar with the unit of solution concentration known as molarity. So today, let's differentiate between molarity and molality. Molarity is equals to the moles of solute per liters of solution, while molality is equals to the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. And because the molality is expressed as the moles of solute per kilogram of solvent, or for the mass of solvent, the molality of the solution will remain constant at different temperatures and pressures, where molarity is the moles of solute per liters of solution or per volume of solution. So it will change slightly at different temperatures or pressures because the volume of the solution changes at different temperatures because the volume of a solution varies with temperature. So describe the differences in making a 1.0 molar solution of sodium hydroxide and a 1.0 molar solution of sodium hydroxide in water. So to simplify things a little bit, I am going to seems that we can make it in approximately 1 liter of each solution to make 1 molar of NaOH, we will add 1 mole of NaOH or 40 grams. 40 grams, this is the total molar mass of sodium, which is the Na, oxygen, which is the O, and hydrogen, which is the H. And then, add water so that you have final volume of 1 liter. Because remember, molarity is moles per liter. So we want 1 mole of NaOH per every 1 liter of solutions. We need the final volume of 1 liter. So after adding NaOH, if you want to make 1 mole of solution, NaOH, you then again add 1 mole of NaOH or 40 grams but then you add 1 kilogram of water 1 kilogram of H2O is exactly equal to 1 liter of H2O and so one of the first differences you notice is that in the molar solution we added H2O to make final volume of 1 liter and then the molar of solution we added 1 kilogram which is approximately 1 liter of H2O and depending on the temperature. So you may have a solution with a final volume that is slightly or less slightly more than 1 liter. So to illiterate one more time, molar is moles per solute per 1 liter of solution, which is incorporate the solvent and the solute. Molality is moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So instead of looking even up per kilogram of entire solution, we're looking at per kilogram of whatever you're dissolving your solute into. 
So in this given problem, calculate the molality of a solution made by dissolving 75.0 grams of magnesium chloride in 455 ml of H2O at 40 degrees Celsius, assuming a density of 0 0.9922 grams per ml. We remember that molality is equals to moles of solute per kilogram of solvent. So we don't actually have either these values right now, but we know that the amount of solute we have 75 grams is dissolved in 455 ml of H2O. So looking at our definitions, of molality, we know that we need to convert 75 grams of magnesium chloride to moles of magnesium chloride and 455 ml of H2O to kilogram of H2O. So let's start by converting magnesium chloride from grams to moles. Okay, and we'll do that using the molar mass. Okay, so the total molar mass of magnesium chloride is 95.2 grams. Okay, so this allows us to cancel out the grams. And it leaves us mole of magnesium chloride on the top. We can then convert milliliters of H2O to grams of H2O. So using the density value given, this allows us to cancel ML of H2O. So as you can see there, the, de the given density is 0 0.9922 grams per ML. So in order for that to cancel the ML and it will leave us gram of H2O. Okay. then convert the grams into kilograms so we know that there are 1000 grams in every one kilogram and this allows us grams to cancel and it leaves us okay and it leaves us kilogram of h2o on the bottom and then we have and then if we plug these numbers into calculator we'll come up with a solution that has molality of 1.745 molal which is our final answer so as again molal is equal to the moles of solute per kilograms of solution so we cancel all the remaining units and then it leaves us moles per kilogram and then we come up with the final answer of 1.745 molal So please don't forget to like and hit the bell button for updated ka sa mga latest upload. Kindly subscribe, jump page. Maraming salamat po. 1,000 times and more to go. Thank you for watching. May the God bless you and stay safe.